does. Let's head over to M119. Okay, well, what we're going to do today is uh, a little bit different. We're going to start to sort of take a look at some of the 3D um, options and capabilities of Optitex, which is pretty fun. So we're going to kind of look at it little by little. Um, and today we're really just going to familiarize ourselves with the model. Um, uh, they call her Ava. So we sort of exit it out. If you've exited it out to make your workspace big, uh, you can always go and uh, go to View and go to 3D Windows. And um, here you can find all of the different boxes that are related to um, how we're gonna do our 3D rendering. Um, and let's go ahead and just pop up models first. And Ava should pop up. There she is, lovely Ava. And let's just take a little bit of a look at uh, the model and the model properties and understand them a little bit better. Now, uh, this is the standard Optitex model. Uh, we can rotate her around. I'm clicking and dragging to rotate her. And also, if I go up and down, it will zoom in and out. But we can see, you know, all 360, which is nice because we can do a nice 360 of um, all of our, oops, a little too close, uh, our garments once they're rendered, which is quite nice. And let's can I make this any bigger. I don't want to make it bigger. I don't want to make it smaller. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Where'd she go? Hey, love. Okay. Well, let's try this. Gonna X out of it, go back to view, and reopen it. Oh, great. Alright, then I'll pin it here again. And. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Well, here is the load model. So um, let's see if we can, oh, if there's access to any other ones. Um, I have downloaded a, a few of them. Um, actually, I'll probably try to get them up on uh, Blackboard um, when I can find them. I sort of have them hidden in a file somewhere, I don't remember. Um, but uh, you can probably pretty easily from different uh, Optitex websites download um, different models. So let's see what options we have. Oh, they already have them here. So these are all different uh, models. Um, they have guys, they have girls, they have you know young girls, young guys. Uh, even a little baby. I kind of want to see what the baby looks like. I bet it's creepy. <laughs> it is creepy. Uh, <laughs> so you can play around with that. Again, so the little, uh, this one here, load model, you can uh, just click on it and it will uh, have these. So this is nice. So the updated version has all these presets here. Again, this is the just standard one. And then we have, let's see what, what's going on with Dana. Ah, it's like a young girl. Let's see one of the guys. James. Hi, James. So there we go. Um, I guess we'll stick, stick with James for now. Um, but you can play around, check out all the uh, different models and stuff like that. Um, and what we can do is, so not only can we sort of um, select uh, this sort of variety of, of presets for models, um, but we can alter them um, even as they are. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So I'm gonna go here, it looks like it's sort of a little wrench next to the, the little head person, and it says model properties. So I'm gonna open up the model properties, and let's take a look at them. And we're gonna spend quite a bit of time here today in our model properties, just kind of understanding what they all are. Um, 
Now, there are a, uh, they basically fall into a few categories. We have a lot of different measurements. Um, so we have the sort of basic measurements, they call them a sort of middle, middle of the road kind of measurements. Um, but we can go ahead and sort of play with uh, their measurements uh, as much as we want. Um, so we, if we uh, check, um, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo, we have all these different measurements. And some of them are on sort of a sliding scale to get kind of nuanced ones. So these um, uh, sliding scale ones have a lot to do more, less with like sort of numerical circumferences and more sort of how people carry themselves or how their muscles are. So play around with them. The best way to really kind of just get a feel for everything is to get a feel for it. So I'm gonna play with his posture. We can see that kind of tilted him back. He's got, he's a little bit more straight. It's a little bit more curved almost in the spine, kind of this shape. And let's do it the other way. And I bet he's gonna curve sort of this other way um, when I do it the other way. He's gotta kind of hunch over. A little bit more. So again, these, these ones are fairly subtle. Uh, muscles, this will be kind of muscle tone. Ooh, I guess an, kind of all over bulk for that one. We can make them less muscular. Put them in the middle there. And then we can isolate areas, so arm mass. So this is just, you know, if he's doing a bunch of curls or not. <laughs> and these are also, uh, uh, so trapezius, I believe, will be mostly visible on the back. It's kind of the up part here. Yeah. This little area up here. Seat prominence. That's like a butt roundness, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Okay. I don't know where the hips are sitting. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so have fun. Uh, well, the one thing, especially with, so another thing that you will be able to do is, is um, play around with uh, the, the sort of pose that they're doing. Um, you can really kind of confuse Optitex if you do kind of really, really weird presets, and especially with the postures, or, or not the posture, but the, the pose. Um, if you get something that it will just make them sort of tweak out and kind of glitch out, just reload your model and, and start again. Again, um, uh, just go ahead and, and, and play with these things. So we can do the shape of the butt here. Um, crotch with crotch size. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I keep this PG and, and jump over that. And again, you know, we got thigh curve and, and things like that. So these again, these are just our basic measurements. And we can do, you know, our basic, our larger circumferences here. Uh, weight balance is, you know, is, 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 you know, if I scroll it up, he's getting more weight towards here, skinnier legs. So just sort of, you know, some people are not quite so balanced. So again, we have, really have the uh, uh, ability to create quite custom models. Um, uh, and again, this is only our first presets. So let's take a look. So the lengths are our length measurements. So um, what's really nice about uh, this is they show you uh, every single measurement. So if you're not quite familiar with what these measurements are, it, it shows you. And you can sort of click right on them. All right, maybe not. I mean, I thought it would uh, bring it right up. But if you click here on inseam, it's going to show you what your inseam is. So let's, uh, and it is, typically your inseam comes to the ankle, but whatever, OptiText. So that's the, you know, inside measurement of your pants that usually comes kind of from crotch to ankle. In OptiText, I guess it goes to the floor, whatever. So it, let's say his legs are a little bit longer. Um, uh, so let's raise this. Now you can't just go crazy because he has to be like a proportionate person. So sometimes Optitex, if, you, if I put in like 200, um, it's, it's gonna protest. Um, it's, that's just a little bit too much. Uh, but let's, you know, let's up it a little bit and uh, watch his legs grow. So maybe he's got a couple inches longer, maybe it's like a 30, uh, 34, and he'll go uh, a, a little bit longer this way. Now it's it's his overall length didn't change if you notice that. So it, it, proportionally his torso got smaller. So if I want to make uh, the torso longer, uh, we can go ahead and do 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 under chest height. I guess well, 
What about my center front height? Do I have a center front height? Please tips. Can make that a little bit longer to start to stretch them out again. So let's make that. And let's try. Maybe I should do it there. Oh, I guess I have to go back to the basic and change his overall height if I want to make him a little bit bigger. Let's make him a little taller. Two more inches. Okay, so those are our lengths, and again, um, we can either use the measurement charts that we have to type in uh, all the measurements that we have, or we can take custom measurements if we're working for a specific person and put them in here. Um, let's go to circumferences now. Circumferences, of course, those are our circumference measurements, and they're showing them all here. The legs, the arms, the neck, the chest, the waist, all, all that good stuff. Uh, and of course, we can change them as we uh, so see fit. Uh, I raised the, the legs up; they look a little skinny now. So let's let's beef up his. Let's say he's been doing some squats or something, uh, and beef up the thighs a little bit. Um, maybe he went on a diet. He can uh, lost a couple inches of waist. Ooh. Um, you know, you can again. You can change your person exactly how you want it. It has all of the standard measurements, plus a couple you didn't even think about. Um, uh, so you can be very, very precise in customizing your model shapes. And again, the idea is so we get a good fit because what we're going to do in the subsequent lessons is we're going to put our patterns directly on this form and see how they fit. Um, so we do want pretty precise measurements here. So play around with it. And again, it's also kind of a neat way to learn your measurements um, because you get to see it real time, what it is and, and what they look like when they start to change. Um, so it's, it's a good way, uh, yeah, to get familiar with your measurements, where they are, um, so on and so forth. So the next one we have pose. Um, and this is fun to play around with. Um, so it basically just changes how he is standing uh, or how he's posing. Now this is if you kind of go really crazy with them, he might kind of glitch out and spaz out, um, which you might want to start before. But you can see, you know, there's pose one, gives him a little bit more of sort of a natural kind of, um, you know, uh, in place. And then we can kind of play with the additions of the other ones. You want him to be walking. We have the walking pose. We can even adjust how his fingers are. So his fingers are quite clenched. So let's unclench. He looks kind of stressed out. So maybe we can unclench them or clench them more. Did it clench them more? I don't know what they did. Thumb? What does the thumb do? So we're going to unclench that thumb. The hand. You guys are going to curl it before. There we can you know, change the wrist positions of the hands. Um, you know, all this, all this stuff. And you can, you know, you just sort of start to combine them and you, you can get them in kind of very funny poses. Um, bring the shoulders back, legs apart. That's, um, you can bring the arms up and down. So arm up and down, but you can guess what that does. Woo! And, you know, make them flap about or whatever. Bend the elbows, you know. Um, so we can, again, we can play around and get all sorts of different types of poses, which is nice because we can see kind of a little bit how a garment would look like uh, in a moving body, so on and forth, so forth. So you're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, play around with uh, this, sort of see what they do, um, so on and so forth. So uh, the preset is pretty much your default. You can go back there. I'll get back. I'll get, talk a little bit more about that later. Now we also have, there's very limited props. Um, I'm actually not too familiar with what they have for guys. Um, can we put them in sneak? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, elegant for the women uh, is high heels. I thought he would have gotten put in high heels, but I, I guess not. He's just gonna wear his dress shoes, obviously. That makes more sense. Um, so we have basically a dressy shoe and a casual sneaker type shoe, uh, depending on what you want for your 
I guess you can put them both on at the same time if you want. <laughs> does, it, does it make sense? Um, and you can also adjust the height. So I guess you can give them a little bit of a heel. Um, obviously, this is much more dramatic for the female ones. You can do a much uh, higher heel. Um, you can put the socks on and off. I mean, they're, they're very limited. They're not super exciting. It would be kind of cooler if they had a few more options, but, you know. Um, hair. Um, uh, the female ones, you can pretty much give her, like, a bun or a ponytail or nothing. Let's see. I guess you could just give them slightly longer hair. It's pretty conservative. Um, shoulder pads. So shoulder pads are actually really important if you're going to do a jacket. Um, so because we can't like really insert shoulder pads into our pattern, um, uh, but they will be there. So if we're making a jacket with shoulder pads, we want to see how the jacket is going to fit with the shoulder pads because we obviously have drafted the pattern to include them. Um, so if we are going to do something like that, we want to click this on and we can adjust the sort of size and shape which is going to show us how that jacket is going to drape on the form with the shoulder pads. And of course we can adjust, you know, many different things about those shoulder pads, uh, making them bigger, softer, more subtle, more round, more sharp, um, you, you adjust the placement, make them go in, go out, um, all sorts of stuff like that. And that is really important if you do want to do a jacket with shoulder pads is to have that on your model. Um, environment. Let's play around with this. Ooh, ooh, give him a little catwalk or a floor. That's just a floor. I guess I guess you can combine a little bit. Um, outdoors. What does outdoors look like? Doesn't look like much. This is, this is what the outdoors looks like. This is what you're missing, guys. The white void. <laughs> no, I'll put that. That looks snazzier. Um, uh, what's it miscellaneous? Ear collider. I don't know what that did. I don't know what any of these are going to do. I mean, crotch flattener kind of makes sense. I can imagine what that'll do. really see a difference anyway um so again you'll go ahead and uh play around with all your presets and things like that and uh, check out the poses and get familiar with the measurements and things like that now uh what you can do down here is after you sort of totally messed up your model uh you can just go to restore restore all which will give you the presets um it'll put your model uh pretty much back to the way you loaded it um, but it will keep, you know, little shoes and, 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 and um, pads or hair, whatever, uh, that you want. It'll just um, go back to the measurements and pose that he originally came with. Um, so, yeah. So, that is your model. They can do lots of fun different things. So, um, go ahead and check out your different models. Um, uh, play around with them, play around with the um, uh, uh, different um, measurements and things like that. Uh, what you are going to want to do is on one of the female ones, who's Emily? I haven't seen Emily. Oh, Emily's too young for us to be, to, to be, us to be dealing with. We need an adult. We'll go back to Ava. And we can do Kim. I think Kim and Ava are the two sort of adult women. There we go. Um, and what you're going to want to do is uh, grab your measurement chart uh, and kind of. Let's see. Oh, I thought I had one here. Let me grab a measurement chart. And uh, what you're going to do is uh, load in her measurements. And you can wait to do this for uh, a little bit later, but it's good to do it because you can save the models if you want to save the, the model presets. Um, but it's also good to double check or good to do when you're just doing it because what we're going to do is we're going to um, sort of create some simple patterns. 
and we're going to put it on her. Um, and since we're using that size 8 sloper, we do want her to be pretty close. Now she is pretty close to a size 8 sloper. Um, if we go, you know, we can change ba our basics here uh, to the basics uh, of uh, uh, the model. Um, but if you do want to go ahead and um, save her so you've uh, created all your presets and, and changed it to meet your uh, uh, measurements boxes on the sheets, the measurement tables. Um, uh, she shouldn't be too different to begin with, uh, but you can save it. You can save it, uh, save her right here. Uh, same to your flash drive, and uh, then when you load her up, so you can do load model, it's automatically going to go here, but then you can go uh, and find your, um, you know, your thumb drive or whatever that has the save model, open it, and load it, the save model from there. Um, so yeah, so have fun, get to know your measurements, get to know your models, um, play around with it a little bit, um, save it if you have uh, created the model that you like. Um, actually, hold on just a sec, I do want to just show, just double check to see how different those measurements are. I'm just going to have a measurement chart with me. Just hold on a sec, sorry. Thought I had it right next to me, now I've got to go poking through stuff. Um, we're just going to be looking at, uh, uh, I'm going to look at my basic circumferences and, uh, really just look at that, um, and make sure there's nothing too crazy with it. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing the sleeves, so you don't have to worry about that too much, but like the bust, so the bust on a size eight is, uh, 35. So again, it's really close, but let's just give her a nice 35. Um, Overbust, I don't even know if we have an overbust measurement. That's the across chest me measurement um, plus the across back. So you can do a little math and figure that out. But I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to go on to my hips. Now, hips in a size 8 are 36 and a half. So let's scoot that down a bit. And the waist. Oh, she's got a nice little tiny waist. Um, is 26 and a half uh, for our size eight. So we're gonna have her gain a little bit of weight. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, we did, do we do bust? Yeah, we do bust. Uh, high hips, which is also um, abdomen uh, on our, and that's pretty much the same as the measurement chart. Um, let's see what she has for her thighs. So upper thigh circumference. Um, do, 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 do. We have do, do, do. 20 and 3 quarters. Pretty close, but Let's just adjust it a little bit. Um, you know, basically, we're pretty good. Uh, let's look at a some of the lengths, maybe. Maybe she's a bit too tall, a bit too short. Hip height, so this would be hip. Do we have a waist to ankle? No, we got a hip to ankle. High hip height. It's basically abdomen. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about the heights. Um, if anything, we can just shorten things. 
uh, on our pattern. Um, but once you sort of have adjusted, adjust, uh, you know, go over your measurement chart, go over her, again, really you're just going to focus on the main kind of big, big measurements, the, the big three, the waist, the uh, hips, the bust, maybe some of the thighs or arms if they look really kind of far away, but if they're still pretty close, it should be okay. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, save your model. Uh, I forgot to put it, wait, do I have it? there's a problem with it, is there? I'm just going to go ahead and save her there. Get out of here. Alright, now she's on my thumb drive, so anytime I want to uh, load my save model, I can uh, when we're ready. So uh, that concludes uh, this lesson, which is good because Soft Text is now not responding. Uh, <laughs> so just in the nick of time. Uh, and next we're going to go over um, how to prepare our patterns for simulation and then kind of round this all out with actually performing the simulation on Thursday with uh, our pattern. So I'll see you tomorrow uh, with a little bit more on our 3D rendering. Again, it's a nice little departure from what we're doing, kind of fun, um, and uh, we have a lot of kind of fun options that we can do with this. Um, there's a few other different presets with like her shoes and stuff that are different from the guys, so again, you'll, you'll figure that out when you go ahead and play with it. And again, this is all just in your model properties. So get familiar with the models, get familiar with the measurements, all the other good stuff. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.